Now we're from medical situations to political tensions that fled at a funeral in Goseta village in Kwanzaa constituency in, well, in Western Kenya, pitting the Speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Wetangula, against Transoia Governor George Natembea. Security officers were forced to use tear gas canisters to disperse the supporters of the two leaders. The funeral event took an abrupt turn with the arrival of political leaders. First to arrive was National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula, who was welcomed with cheers by his supporters. Now, soon after that, the Transoia governor, George Natembe, arrived and he too was greeted enthusiastically by his supporters, leading to a showdown between the two groups. However, the police intervened, placing a barrier between rival supporters. As tensions escalated, police resorted to using tear gas canisters to calm down the situation. Both leaders have condemned the incident. Atuta kupari watarisha maisha ya wananchi. Atuwezi kwa tunashugulika national na nyumbani na kaa vile na kaa vibaya. Na mambo ya amani katika Transoya County, it will be a subject of discussion in the next cabinet. E Kenya ni inji amani. For us to grow, tunahitaji amani na heshima kati ya wananchi. Yote meisha, tupeleka na daetu, ya ya kufanya uchifu ya ujinga. Kwa hivu nataka chukua na fazi hii. That's what I, no more talking. So what? Politics at the grassroots right there. Now moving on, the Kenyan National Human Rights Commission is seeking to unravel the intentions of cult leader Paul McKenzie in the infamous Shakahola massacre that has seen more than 419 bodies 